are. You are okay. You are not hurt. Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. Your boy is missing. Oh, honey. Ugh. Where that selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know. And now his son has gone missing. It is very hard for him. Do you know of the monster Avarith? She appeared in the village with her foul friends soon after Yggdrasil fell and the darkness came. We were paralyzed with fear and could not run away. Then she gathered us all in the square. Give me your valuables, she said. Tell me what is most precious to you. I will protect it. People were so scared, they obeyed her without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. But the wicked creature lied to us. She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty, rotten liars. Don't worry, honey. We're gonna get all your stuff back. All of it. Really? But Avarith is very strong, very powerful. Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to stop me. I won't let you down. You know what they say, a knight's word is his bond. A knight? Hmm. Avarith went south with everything she stole. She has a lair there, I think. Then let's get after her! We've got an evildoer to punish!
parade looks fun. Where are you going? Hi there, little one. We're just off to hunt down the horrible, nasty monster who's been kidnapping people from the village. Is your father named Da, by any chance? Hmm. So you were not abducted. And what are you doing in such a dangerous place? Your father is worried about you. <laughs> my father does not care for me. He cares for my mother's necklace more than anything else. He told the monster so. I thought he would say I was the most precious thing to him. It made me very sad. So I decided to follow the monster and get the necklace back for him. Then he will see the time worth something. But then I strayed too far from the village and became scared. So I stopped here to hide. What your father said was upsetting, I am sure. But this is no place for a child. Come, we will return you to the village. No! If you are going after the monster, I am coming with you. I have to get my mother's necklace back. <sighs> oh, don't be such a spoil sport, Hendrik. We'll look after the little darling. And besides, he'll be safer with us than out here on his own. Very well. But the boy is your responsibility. Thank you! Thank you! I will be useful to you, I promise! The monster went that way. There is a cave on the cape where she is hiding. You heard him, everybody! Let's go teach that dirty bandit a lesson! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Surprise! Not many humans wander in here of their own call. Avarice, you fiend! You are going to give back what you've taken and let all the people of the village go. And you are going to do it now. <laughs> so that is why you are here! You humans and your heroic nonsense! Still, I suppose you have shown a lot of courage coming here. Very well. Let's say I do give everything back. It's not going to happen for free. You're going to have to give me something to sweeten the deal. Hmm. How about... Your most valued possession! That seems like a fair trade, wouldn't you say? Wait! If you wish to make a deal, fiend, you must make it with me. I have something for you. Something soft and warm and fragrant. Something I just know you are going to love. Oh, what is it? What is it? It sounds amazing. I have to see it right now. Hand it over. Hand it over. With pleasure. I do hope it brings you joy. Let me see. Let me see. Ugh! What is that awful smell? You! You! Do you think this is some kind of joke? Oh, don't you like it, honey? I chose it especially for you! <laughs> For this, Avarice will 
not be mocked by a silly, dumb-up little human! Maybe this will teach you a lesson! Bother begging for mercy. Your lives are mine now, and I'm not giving them back.
score one for the good guys. Kalthiv! <laughs> How could I have lost? Impossible! <laughs> That's what you get for being a nasty, greedy girl. Everybody, are you okay? You are not her. <sighs> we are fine thanks to you, our brave little son. Avarith only kept us prisoner. She did not hurt us. You saved us. I... I do not know how to thank you. Fair maiden, a smile will more than suffice. <laughs> Here it is! My mother's necklace! Oh, but... Take this back to my father. It will only make him more sad. Oh, of course it won't, you silly boy. Mm -hmm. Didn't your daddy ever tell you it's the thought that counts? It could be smashed to pieces and you'd still be his little hero. <sighs> Time to take Son and the others back to the village in style! Come, darlings! Your parade awaits! You take your time, honey. We'll be having all kinds of fun. Ciao for now!
Huh? Hello, Father. I brought Mother's necklace back from the lair of the beast for you. But it... it is broken. You... you did what? Foolish child! Huh? <sighs> hmm? Huh? You... You could have been killed. And then where would I be, hmm? Without you. My most treasured possession. <laughs> huh? But... but... you said that Mother's necklace was your most treasured possession. I said it, but I did not mean it. How could I? Don't you see? I did not trust the monster, so I said a lie. I lied because I wanted to protect you. R really? I, I... I thought you did not care about me. I... I'm so sorry. You must have been so worried. <laughs> to think it was all but a misunderstanding. If only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. Yes, if only. <clears throat> I'll see you both outside, okay? Father, these are my new friends. They are the ones who rescued everybody. Oh. <sighs> I cannot thank you enough. You are true heroes. <clears throat> the first time we met, when you rescued me, I was searching for some. But I had to pretend that I did not care in case the monster came back and realized that I had lied. I hope you understand. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Where is my friend with the feathers? I wanted to say thank you. Silvando left for us suddenly. Perhaps we should go and look for him. Simply been honest with one another. <gasps> ah, you scared me! How long have you been standing there? Ah, never mind. It... It was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. 
Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... He's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? You really are a hero, huh? You know, I thought it was enough. Traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? What I'm saying is... I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. But there's something I want you to help me with first. It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon. But I can't do that to my darling boys. So we have to leave them somewhere safe, with somebody who can look after them. Now, I know just the place and just the person, but... Well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of Smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? an announcement to make. My parading days are over. No! Ah, 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 ah. But do not fear. It will only be for a little while. I will return as soon as the Lord of Shadows is defeated. We... We understand, Sylve. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylve. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And if anyone can show that rotten spoilsport what's what, it's you. Exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. Puerto Valor? Wait. Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's... So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrik. Such a sweet, simple boy. Ah! All right, my little champions of cheer. Let's go show Puerto Valor how to party! Yeah! <laughs> I cannot fathom it. The boy is unrecognizable, and he has abandoned the name his father gave him. Don Rodrigo must be furious. <clears throat> Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo, the noblest and most revered of all knights. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. But the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor, never to return. Until now. But 
Perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor. The road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. So strange. I thought I'd never see this place again, and yet here I am. Well, at least I came back with a bang. You go on ahead, honey. I need a second to compose myself. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. Uh, uh, huh? Hendrik? Ho <laughs> ho How many years has it been since you completed your training, eh? Huh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. I have heard many tales of your exploits. Hmm. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador. I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. 
Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. Hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. And yet the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed and I broke the news to him, let me tell you. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no, this was my calling. To make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. <sighs> I 
He didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left. And I haven't seen him since. Ah, dear me, that got a bit long and emotional, huh? But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, yes, let's do this. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit. Show your face in my presence. And you have come to tell me something. See? I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for? Foolish boy. Huh? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, not yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. Kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it. Wait. Papi, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Papi. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Of shadows. See? See? How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. 
<laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? <gasps> oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Mm -hmm. Oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! Tell me this is your dad, Sylv. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> Norberto, explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? This huh? Oh. Hey, where are you? Hey, hey, get your hands off of me! <laughs> That's your foolishness, boy! I did not agree to this! Oh, don't be like that, Papi! How can you leave my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised! And didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? Huh? Listen to me, soldiers of smile. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, still don't go! Don't leave us! <laughs> Darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. And no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. So much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. The salty stallion is all yours too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. With the ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea.
Stay down. that ends well. Stormy all of a sudden. Silvando, this ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? <laughs> Don't mention the S word! I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy! Voice. Where is it coming from? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs>
And what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? <laughs> no, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. In your world, I am known as the Seer. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? No, I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. You know, I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. The fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. Ah, so that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows, but power cannot be taken, no more than it can be touched or tasted, especially not the power of the Luminary. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world.
Darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> When you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer, and they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Mm hmm. Whoop! <laughs> for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on, let's get you to bed. <laughs> 